Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Today I'm going to be teaching how to make a channel banner for the top of your YouTube channel and also to make links, uh, link to your Twitter and YouTube. I'll teach you how to do that as well. Uh, before we get started, uh, you have to be a partner with YouTube. If you want to learn how to become a partner, there's a link below and that will take you to the partners page and you can apply if you like. Um, so let's get started. All right, so here's my channel with a banner on it. Uh, the banner is 960 pixels by 150 tall. Uh, it can be up to 150 tall. You can make it uh, not as tall. You can make it 100 pixels, 50 pixels, whatever you like. But uh, YouTube gives you this real estate. Might as well use it. Here's a channel. This is my son's channel, Big Band Studios. Go check him out. Uh, this is a channel. He's not a partner yet. So this is what a channel looks like without uh, a banner at the top. Uh, so let's get started. So we're going to be using Photoshop CS4. Uh, let's start a new. Uh, let's, like I said before, it is 960 by 150, uh, 72 resolution. Okay. So there we go. Uh, let's throw some text in there. KBD Productions TV. Yeah, it's going to be doing a quick banner just for for time reasons. So there's our text. Uh, we can go to edit, transform, scale, and we can scale that down. If you uh, uh, you can hold shift down and scale it properly, or you can just grab it by any corner and just start ripping it down. So there's KBD Productions TV. Let's just go like that. Make it a little bit wider or taller. And you double click to make it locked in. Then when you come over here, just click in this blue area of your uh, layer. And we'll move that up so you guys can see what I'm doing. We can put a stroke on it. Make sure you have preview on so you can see what you're doing as you do it. Um, and then you can do a gradient. And let's go into our gradient tool. And eh, let's just use that for now. Do that, do that. Okay, so there's our title. Uh, let's start a new layer. So let's put a photo in there. You go to File, Place, go to my desktop and grab Halloween Pick. It sizes it to where it wants to size it. Uh, let's get just my eyes in there. People like the eyes. Double click, lock it out. We can grab this tool, which is the erase tool. Uh, sorry, we have to go over here. Uh, if you control click, just to give you a heads up, I'm using a Mac. So let's move that over so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, control click. We're going to raster size a layer because it won't let me do what I want it to do, which is erase some of this stuff. So we can erase some of this and erase some of, oops, I'm sorry, I'm making a guide there. And we'll erase some of that. Uh, if you hit the lesser, uh, or you can just go up here and choose a smaller brush size. And we can get a little bit tighter to my face. Erase some of that, erase some of that. And that's good enough for now. If we click on this button and make sure we're on that layer, we can move that layer around. I want that to be behind my text. If I drag that and pull it down underneath, now it's behind my text. So let's put on two more layers, or at least one more layer. Uh, we'll put in the Facebook and Twitter icons. Again, we have to go to Place, grab Facebook. I created these myself just in case I wasn't allowed to use the actual Let's undo that, the actual uh, Facebook icon and Twitter icon. And we can place again. Now let's just do another layer. And then we'll place my Twitter. Uh, Twitter, there you go. And we'll make it the same size as my Facebook. I'm just putting it over top just to make it the same size and then drag it down again if you hold shift when you're dragging something it will drag along that line uh, so I'm holding shift click whoops I just moved the center point if you hit shift and drag it it will drag it along that axis 
So there we go. Uh, you can also use your up and down arrow keys and move something into place. Uh, but there you go. Double click it to lock it in. So there you have it. You have a title, a picture, two links that we're going to make linkable. So when we're finished, we're going to save. I'm going to do a save as. And we're going to save it as um, banner. Okay, we saved it as a PSD, so that's the Photoshop document. We can uh, now save it as a PNG, which is way down at the bottom here. The reason I like to export it as a PNG is because it create it leaves this background transparent. So when I put that onto my channel, I can see what's behind this image. If I saved it as a JPEG, it'll export it and put a white background in. So I'll have this big white banner on top of my black image, which I have on my channel. So we have it saved as a PNG and we have it saved as a PSD, which is a Photoshop document. Now that we've done our banner, we want to make these links linkable. So let's go to our Safari and we're going to click on or type in image-maps.com and this is where we're going to map out our buttons. We're going to click choose. We're going to go to our desktop. We're going to go to our PNG which was called banner PNG. Wait for it to upload. It's uploaded and then we say start mapping your image. So now we're here in the mapping image area. Since these links are rectangles, we're just going to grab the rectangle tool. If there are any other shape, we could use custom shape. But since they're rectangle tools, let's do that. So this is our tool that we're going to use. Uh, we put that over top of our Facebook button. You can drag this out and put it anywhere we want. So we're going to put this one on our Facebook. Now we're going to put uh, my Facebook link in there uh, with this command V to paste that in there. I've copied it from my website or from my Facebook. I can test the link and there it goes straight to my KBD Productions TV link uh, and then you can save and then we can make create another one. This is the cool thing about this button is it remembers the same shape as the last one. So that's exactly the same shape and size as the last one. So it saves some time there. And we'll put that there, and now we'll paste our Twitter link in here. Command V. And we can test it. And yep, that's me. And we can save it. And then we say, get your code. And then we go up to HTML code. And this is the code that we need to give to YouTube to make our links linkable so we go back to kbd productions tv channel we click branding options we're going to upload our channel banner first choose go to our desktop go to our png banner and so that is uploaded and we had it at 150 so that's okay we just wait a couple seconds for it to upload so it's uploaded and right here is where we're going to put the code so command V I did a command C on the last one I forgot to say and then we go down to the save button we make sure we save that and it sometimes is instantaneous so let's close we're going to refresh and there's our new banner and that's us zip lining which is a very cool video and there are links so as we move our mouse over our links are now linkable all right guys there you go uh, if you like this video please hit the like button that was super helpful don't forget to hit the favorites that way you can come back to it uh, if you need to learn how to do this again in the future uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber check out one of my other tutorials that would be fantastic and we'll talk to you guys later it's always cold at the end of my tutorial Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. I've got my coffee ready. Uh, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make, oh my gosh.